is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University. We're going to do some integration for statics, CE2301. We're going to determine moments of inertia, product of inertia, uh, of a curve, of a shaded area that is defined by the curve part is y is one-third x squared and it goes from x equals 1 to x equals 3 on the horizontal axis at x equals 3 y is equal to 3 so the first thing we're asked for is the moment of inertia about the x axis and whenever we have a area that's bounded by an axis we tend to want to use a vertical strip it's perpendicular to the axis. If I had bounds on the y-axis, I would probably use a horizontal strip. So you want to use a little elemental strip that's dA. That's what that is. I guess I could write that in there. Probably a good idea. That little strip is dA. Little elemental area. Okay, so for the moment of inertia about the x-axis, I want to use the fact that I've, what I've really got is a rectangle there. And it's taking moment of inertia about its base. That's that formula BH cubed over 3. And so I can just directly solve for it by using that. So the integral, I mean the derivative of IX, moment, moment of inertia about the x-axis, is the one-third dx, which is the base, times the height cubed, which the height is y, always whatever the y value is of each little strip. So the moment of inertia is equal to the integral of dix. So that's the integral of one-third. I've taken the one-third out of it beyond the integral sign. y cubed is this value right here, one-third x squared, and I cube that whole thing, times dx, which is the base of that rectangle. So, do a little math. I can further evaluate it out to one-third integral of one-twenty-seventh x to the sixth, which I'm just cubing one-third to get one-twenty-seventh, and I'm cubing x squared to get x to the sixth. dx, I evaluate that with my normal x to the nth power evaluation. I get one-third times the 20, one twenty-seventh times the seven, all on the denominator, x to the seventh. So I have to evaluate that from one to three. At 1, it's equal, I just substitute in 1 for x, and I get 0 0.00176. I substitute in 3 for x, take it to the 7th power. I get 3.857. Evaluate that thing. Subtract this one from this one, and I get 3.855 inches to the 4th. Okay, now I want the moment of inertia about the y-axis. I'm going to remember the parallel axis theorem and that's that the moment of inertia about the y-axis any axis is equal to the centroidal moment of inertia about the centroidal axis plus the AD x squared term. Okay, In this case the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis is zero because this height is infinity dx. So that term goes to zero, so all I'm left with is the a dx squared term, where the distance dx is the distance from the centroid of the area to the axis that I'm concerned with. That is always going to be x, whatever the x value is. So the integral, I mean the derivative of IY is 
dA, this area, times its x distance squared. Rearranging that, derivative of iy is x squared dA, which is equal to x squared times dA is y dx. Remember for that little strip. So now I can write my integral out. iy is equal to the integral of x squared y dx. So I substitute in this value for y of one-third x squared, and I get this expression. I evaluate it out further, bring the one-third outside of the integral sign. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, so I have one-third the integral of x to the fourth dx. Evaluate that, it's one over three times five, x to the fifth. Once again, I evaluated it at one and three, Get these values, 16.2, subtract it from subtract from that 0.066, repeating. I get IY is equal to 16.13 inches to the fourth. Number three, I want my radius of gyration about the y-axis. That's just equal to the square root of IY divided by the area. Well, that means I have to compute the area. It's the integral of dA, which is the integral of y dx, that little elemental strip, which is equal to the integral of substituting in this value for y, one-third x squared dx. Evaluate that. The integral of that is 1 over 3 times 3 x to cubed. Evaluate it at 3, and I get 3. Evaluate it at 1, and I get 0.111 repeating. Subtract that one from that one, and I get 2.88 inches squared. It's just an intermediate value because I still need to complete the calculation. It's the square root of IY, which I get from up here, 16.13, divided by 2.88, the area, is 2.36 inches. Number 4, the product of inertia about the x and y axes. Once again, I'm going to remember the uh, parallel axis theorem. Ixy is equal to the centroidal product of inertia Ix prime y prime plus a dx dy. In this case, anytime I have an axis of symmetry, even just one of them, the product of inertia goes to zero. So this term goes to zero, and I've got my area times my dx and dy distances. Okay, here I've drawn this little strip again to point out that for the strip that's y dx, that's dA, the dx distance is always just the x value to the center of that little rectangle. But the y, dy distance, is half of the height, so it's y over 2. So my derivative of ixy is equal to dA, which is this term, A, times x times y over 2. So just re rearrange, and I get dA, remember, is y uh, y dx, so that's this, these two terms, times x dx dy, these two values. I multiply my common terms together and I get one half x y squared dx. That's the derivative of ixy. I just need to integrate that term to get ixy which is equal to the integral of one-half x y squared dx. So that's the integral of one-half x. Substitute in this value for y, one-third x squared, and square it, dx. So I evaluate this, one-third x squared. Squared is one-ninth x to the fourth. Still got my one-half x there and my dx. So that's equal to... 1 18th, 2 times 9, x to the 5th dx, which is equal to 1 over 18 times 6, 
x to the sixth. Evaluated at three, I get 6.75. Evaluated at one, I get 0 0.00926, very small number. Subtract this one from this one, and I get 6.74 inches to the fourth. Last but not least, I have the very simple polar moment of inertia, JO, which is equal to IX plus IY. I just add those two values together. 3.855 or 3.86 plus 16.13, and that gets to be 20 inches to the fourth.